me hey guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video i will mainly talk about uh, can we implement uh, lmmsc estimator to perform the churn estimation or not so if you want to apply lmmsc what are the advantages what are the disadvantages we will try to see all those aspects in this particular video so till now um, what uh, what we have considered is uh, the intuitive uh, intuition based solution then uh, we saw d square based solution right so for that uh, i will just take uh, the system model for one particular sub carrier okay that is y is equal to uh, hx plus n okay this is just uh, not a vector this is just a uh, you know uh, the single equation so intuition way is uh, since uh, we know this x x could be my our pilot side right? this is known to both the transmitter and receiver so as soon as you receive y you do the division um, or or uh, you know if you if you design the pilot in certain way where it is like it is power of j phi then uh, you know the inversion can be given by like 1 by x can be given by the power of minus j phi which is actually you know uh, you know the x conjugate so we can just go for y into x conjugate uh, that will give me h plus n into x conjugate right so so if, if we assume that uh, uh, such kind of uh, um, samples i mean uh, across uh, multiple sub carriers if the channel is constant then we can further go for uh, um, averaging uh, averaging uh, averaging operation right so by that way we can even try to reduce this particular error we can try to reduce the noise by doing averaging so this intuition solution was uh, actually matched with the least square estimator right in the earlier videos we have seen that so let me write that as well so i add y is equal to uh, hx plus n so what is the least square estimator uh, equation to get h at so it is um, x conjugate into x uh, you know whole inverse uh, x conjugate into y right so then um, this is basically it will become one so as you will see uh, yeah, you know this will be just uh, um, you know x conjugate into y right so this will be like uh, uh, you know x conjugate into h into x uh, sorry x uh, plus uh, n so these two will get cancelled this is a scalar quantity right we can shift it even you know in the vector form we can easily derive in the previous video it has been done so this will give me just x into um, h plus n x conjugate so similar to what we have seen in the uh, previous uh, slide with respect to intuition solution correct so least square is also uh, i mean whatever intuition um, equation whatever intuition solution which we thought of uh, is actually the least square equation if you if you are designing the pilots in a certain way right so we considered that this least square solution is the optimal solution right but under certain condition that is isnr and we saw that in the previous video uh, to support this IS, uh, isnr um, the 3gpp specification has provided uh, us uh, some um, options that is to transmit uh, the pilots with uh, you know i power and uh, and also uh, we can transmit the pilots across uh, mm, you know across multiple symbols so across multiple symbols if you are transmitting uh, then we can perform the averaging across multiple symbols by that way you know you can uh, boost up your snr so now the question is can we apply uh, lmmsc so is it worth to apply so we have this y is equal to uh, hx plus uh, n right so what could be my lmmsc estimator uh, it would look something like this okay uh, sorry so plus um, i would say uh, sigma n square identity uh, whole inverse and uh, x star y right so this is uh, your noise statistics which is rnn which is given by uh, n into n star the right now i have written identity actually this will be the, this will be just uh, one right uh, because this is a single equation then 
we need to perform this inversion correct um, if we are doing uh, LMMS estimator right now this is a single equation we 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 are we need have to perform any inversion it could be a just a scalar inversion but definitely if you are going for a vector form or uh, you know in case of MIMO if you are going for a matrix form then definitely we have to perform the matrix inversion so in which case uh, it would take uh, um, uh, you know a lot of time to do this uh, inversion so even in the previous least square as well right uh, so uh, if you don't design the pilots uh, in a certain way then then definitely you know this particular uh, uh, inversion will become a matrix inversion and this will be costly but uh, since uh, if you are choosing uh, uh, the pilots uh, uh, in this way uh, you know we can avoid this particular uh, uh, inversion and that's why you know the least square solution is becoming very simpler for channel estimation but here also we can say that uh, it could become um, you know the matrix inversion could, could be could be a much simpler uh, uh, version but still um, we have to do uh, the matrix inversion in this case okay uh, that is one uh, drawback here but definitely you know when do we apply this LMMSE right so we were talking about MMSE equalization right in my previous uh, uh, series I was talking about MMSE equalization uh, we saw that this MMS equalization will be will be the optimal solution under uh, low SNR, right? Okay. So here also for the channel estimation, this will be the optimal solution under low SNR. Okay. But the thing is, do we have uh, uh, you know low SNR situation? Yeah, we have low SNR situation, but 3GPP has already provided uh, certain, uh, yeah, you know, certain options for us to boost up the SNR, right? The one thing is to transmit the pilots with uh, more power, okay, uh, so that your SNR is good. The second one is we can, if you, if you see that uh, your SNR is bad, which means that there is a, uh, too much uh, uh, noise, then we can go for um, transmitting more pilots uh, across uh, symbols across multiple symbols and uh, and we can perform averaging averaging across symbols right this will also boost up your SNR there are already options to boost up your SNR which means that we can expect uh, you know the very good SNR in most of the scenarios all right so when such a thing is there and we already know that this LMMSC actually reduces to least square solution uh, under high SNR right so in this equation itself we can see that isnr means this particular terms goes to almost to zero then if you if you see this this will become just uh, this equation this is nothing but your least square solution all right so in most of the scenarios it doesn't make sense uh, uh, for us to apply lmmsc algorithm to the channel estimation because in most of the scenarios we have sufficient options to boost up the SNR uh, and, and, and at higher SNR your least square, least square estimation itself will give the very good sum estimation. But on a, on a last option or, or the worst option if you really still see that your SNR is not that great then in that case if you try to apply uh, you know LMMSC you might see that uh, your channel estimation might be better than your least square uh, estimation okay uh, it might be better uh, i mean i am telling you the worst case if the if the snr is low uh, despite uh, you know transmitting the pilots with more uh, more power and despite uh, you know you are transmitting the pilots across multiple symbols even then if the snr is low then if you would have implemented lmmsc you might get uh, some better performance compared to a least square solution that possibility is there but the problem is that um, you know this would take uh, more processing time because we have to perform the matrix inversion and uh, things like that right so for the MIMO case so now it is a trade-off between whether you want to have more accuracy versus you know uh, higher uh, signal processing time got it so so, but uh, usually in most of the cases, we will be having a 
an option to have very good SNR because we are transmitting with the higher power. Uh, so I would say the least squares solution is sufficient to perform the charge estimation, and uh, that is in fact uh, uh, you know is simpler to implement and it will reduce the signal processing a lot. Another another thing is that. See in the equalization itself, right? Uh, to get to the better uh, estimates to decode uh, our data properly, we are already applying LMMSC there. So there we we don't have any other option, and we are going for uh, uh, you know we are going for matrix matrix inversion. So already at one block, you are consuming a lot of signal processing time. So it is. Better that for some estimation, if you go for a simpler processing, simpler um, signal processing algorithm, and and still we can get uh, the better chance estimation. I hope this is uh, uh, clear to everyone. Um, if you are looking for more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thank